Hey guys, so I got requested to make a shark video, Rob. Um, shark head, anyway. So here's here's my thoughts on this. On your shark head, sweet little head, right? It's got this machine lip in here, just like a stock head has, which is going to squish your head gasket and. Essentially what happens is it squishes it into the, the combustion chamber and then it slowly burns it and I don't know if you've ever had a head gasket stretch and push into here and then start flaking away. It's not good. And then on this head, it actually is pretty much the exact same shape as a head gasket. I'll show you real quick. Come on, head gasket, get out there. Now watching demolition of head gasket video okay so you can see the difference there right this head gasket pretty much fits all the way around the uh, protruding combustion chamber piece there versus this one it sits on top of it and you get that little little gap right there which with this one you don't get a gap it's nice and flush so how does that compare to an engine? Well, not engine, not all engines have the exact same same squish, right? So you see this one is coming up to top dead, and it's got a little bit of space. With this one, I'm kind of using a cheater version. It uh, doesn't have a base gasket, so you can kind of get the idea here. But it, it comes above top dead. See that there? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick the shark on each one, and with some Play-Doh, we're going to check the squish, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, I guess we'll start with this one. Oh, hold on. Got to put this down for a second. Fix my Play-Doh. You want to kind of wide across the here. You want it kind of wide across the chamber like that. That way you get a pretty nice squish. So we'll put it up here. Set it on top of the piston like that. We'll do the shark head first on the engine. It doesn't have the very good squish. Well, the one with the piston that doesn't come up to top dead very well. Okay. Now that I got her on there, I'm going to hold it. Let it run up. Squish the Play Doh down. I don't even think it squished the Play Doh, honestly. It's not feeling like it did. Okay. It, it literally didn't even squish the Play Doh. I'm going to get a bigger piece of Play Doh. Obviously, this squish is horrible. Alright. Bigger piece of Play Doh. Really check this squish. I didn't think I was going to need four pounds of Play Doh to do this. pain in the butt. Come on. Okay, got it. Alright, I got the squish. It didn't want to squish, but it did. I'm out of there. I'm on. Well, you guys can get the idea that there is a lot of room in there. This thing once I'm done with it. I'm out of there. Okay. That's pretty much what we're working with. That's the thickness of the squish on a shark head on pretty much an engine that comes out of a box without much much squish at all. Uh, something like Six millimeter? That's a lot. Doesn't help that I used a crap load of Play-Doh, but 
You get the idea. Uh, push the rest of this stuff out. All right, now we're gonna check the squish on. Now we're gonna check the squish on the jig head. So the new camera mount will be the shark head. Make our plato wide. Set it on the old chamber there, like so. See? You can either put it in the piston or on the chamber, however you want to do it, but this has to get done. Alright. I'm going to turn it. That was much easier. Okay. Now to pry it off of here without hopefully bending it too much. Okay. So this squish is much thinner. Contours to the piston a little better. And it measures about three millimeter. About three millimeter. I'm sure there's guys running engines out there that are in these squish tolerances because most people don't correct squish and squish is going to be where you get your power from without it you just got a gigantic space that's not doing anything all right now we're going to go to this engine that has the piston that comes all the way to top dead i'm going to throw the jake on first we're going to need a lot less play-doh for this this uh example because this squish is going to be tight Get my plate already here. Don't want too much. I don't want it too thick or else it'll be a pain in the butt to roll through. But get it all under the piston like so. Drop the piston down some. This is with a head gasket, by the way. Come on. This squish is a little tighter. Goodness sakes. Let's see if we can turn it with a screwdriver. I can feel it picking up the head, so I don't know if this is going to be accurate. You can see that it flattens the hell out of it. I might even try it with less Play-Doh because that, that, uh, that was a little difficult. Now I'm going to push this out. So here you can see that is a tight squish. This might even be a squish that would actually run in an engine or maybe even a little too tight. Let's check it. So that squish on kind of near the outer edge was 0.49 millimeter. That is a tight squish. That's honestly probably a little too tight. I would uh, I would want like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. You you want it to be a little little more so because at about 10 grand your engine starts to stretch or something or it's basically the piston starts hitting the head when it didn't before. But let's uh, let's switch heads here. Show the uh, shark head squish. Same engine, or yeah, same same engine with the shark head squish. Now I'm guessing this is going to be like two millimeter, or maybe at least a millimeter. Because this shark head has a lot of room in it. Alright, 
get ready. Roll her through and see what she looks like. Yeah, that was a lot easier. Now we got our little squish thing here. Measure it. I know what it was. It was 1.76. All right. So the squish of this guy here was about 1.76 millimeter, which that's getting there, but you're not making the power you want, you're not getting the compression you want, and your flame front is not doing what it's supposed to. So anyhow, this gives you an idea of how I feel about a shark head versus the um, fake Jake. I'll just give you an idea of what, uh, what this lip on the side here looks like. You can see this lip like a machined lip. It's almost a millimeter from the edge into the chamber there. Almost a millimeter. So what I'm going to do with this head is I'm actually going to shave this ring completely off all the way down to uh, all the way down to the combustion chamber there. And then I'm going to make sure it's still 47 millimeter. Which from Edge to edge around that ring, we're looking at 48.36, so I can actually bring it down pretty much flush with the deck height right here. It'll give me a lot better squish throwing it on just any old engine. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Um, Sharkhead versus the uh, fake Jake on squish versus two different engines. Yeah, have a good day, guys.